morning everybody welcome i forgot johnny announcer it is i the worst streamer on the internet battery h sorry johnny we'll have to get you later um welcome to day 17 of 100 days of gaming we're playing fallout 4 and cherry 2287 for those of you who don't know we've been playing this uh yeah we're doing a fairly role play and uh, we're going to uh, continue on with that as well today. Uh, just a moment about, uh, we'll go on about uh, 100 Days of Gaming and Extra Life. Uh, 100 Days of Gaming does support Extra Life and leads up to our 25 hour marathon on November 5th. Uh, Extra Life is an organization that raises money for the Children's Hospital of New Orleans. Or, pardon me, the Children's, Hospital, the Children's Miracle Network, of which Children's Hospital of New Orleans is whom I am raising. I will get this right, it's still early, folks. In any event, 100% uh, of the donations that uh, Extra Life receives from people like yourself go directly toward helping the kids. Every penny goes to uh, something along the lines of equipment purchases or research of new treatment, outreach programs, compensating care, uh, the things that, that the kids need to get better, and these hospitals are committed not only to healing children, but making sure that they can still be a kid during this whole process. Um, everything from music therapy, uh, offering video games in the hospital, <coughs> and letting them, letting them do what they, uh, what they can do. So we are, uh, we're looking at all this good stuff. Um, I'm, if you want to make a donation, if you're watching this on YouTube later, check the uh, description below. If you're watching it now, simply type exclamation point, um, extra life, E-X-T-R-A-L-I-F-E, -E, all one word, into chat, and uh, it'll come up with the link. If you're interested in joining Extra Life, simply go to www.extra-life.org. There you can join up. It's free to sign up if you want uh, with a basic uh, package. Uh, let your friends know. Let your family know. Create a page. It's all very easy and intuitive. Select your hospital that you want to play for. Let people know what you're doing. Uh, ask for them to donate right through the web page. You can do it through PayPal, credit card. You tell them you don't have to worry that you'll never see the money, that the money goes directly to them. If you're in the U.S., it's tax deductible. If you're outside the U.S., you'll have to consult the tax attorney. I really don't know. Uh, that being said, we're going to blow up the screen a little bit. And Gaz Broughton, our latest follower, thank you very much. We're at $585 to date. If well, this one is not updated, and I do not know why. 
We got one that says 580 and one that says 585, and I got to figure out which is right. Um, bear with me one moment, folks. Our total is 585, so for some reason this number is not refreshing and it's short $5 somehow. All right, well, never mind. When we hit uh, the $600 mark, so another $15, I'm going to be doing a game giveaway. We hit 200 followers, I'm going to be doing a game giveaway. I'm hoping to be doing that this weekend. So uh, stick around, chat, and you never know what you're going to see. Okay. So we got to recover a flux assistance or at Rayburn Point. Explore the combat zone, lost patrol, road to freedom, follow the freedom trail. Let's see what's out there and what's where. So all that stuff is to the west. We go up northeast for the recon team. The combat zone's over by Swan's Pond, so we want to kind of, kind of be careful around that. Um. Freedom Trail's right there, too. I don't really want to get in with Swan right now because I know that's bad. Sensor at Rayburn Point. Well, looks like there's a couple of spots out here me and Dog Meat might be able to get to. The latest hairstyles from the upper stand. New issue of public occurrences. View from the vault. We're not going to worry so much about some of these radio broadcasts if we can avoid it. Oh, let's see what we can do. I'm thinking maybe we'll go over here and try to find our baseball stuff and see if we can't come up with that, maybe. Just to kind of burn up some more experience. And what guns do we have up here? The hunting rifle. Um, Righteous authority is the. So we don't. We have quite a few cells for that, but. I need 
they had a scope for that bad boy is what I need to do. Yeah, I know, buddy. I don't like it out here either, not in this fog. Stay hidden, right? Here a little bit and kind of work our way west. Maybe that's the solution here, folks. Of course, there's all signs of creepy crawlies, I'm sure, that hang out along the fence. Particularly in places with old shipping cans and whatnot. See the wreck up ahead. Survivors or other kinds of things probably hanging out around there. I don't want to be anywhere near a car that might go up, but. Staying hidden becomes quiet priority. is lifted quite abruptly. Well, so much for the easy way method of concealment, huh? Guess we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way and sort of sneak up on whatever's there. Because something is there, I'm certain of that. Psst. How you doing, buddy? Hey boy, think you can find something for me? What do you think? Any bad guys around, buddy? Really? Why am I having trouble believing that? water around, there's going to be at least mire lurks. Or worse. No gate.
There's the Hope Flyer. We can always use more of them. Frickin' water I find. Bad enough I'm gonna be taking rads here. I see one spot. Sign catcher's mitt. Alright. And duct tape. Take on of that. Connecting rods, ball peen hammers, used oil cans. Those will certainly come in useful. And there's the mire lurk right there. Alright, time to switch up weapons. Where's old righteous authority? Dogmeat, of course, Dogmeat found something. Let me, uh... Alright, buddy, hold on. Let me get this safe open first. doing buddy hey boy think you can find something for me see if there's any good stuff nearby boy show me okay a baseball bat thank you dog meat and more baseballs and baseball gloves and Guess it wasn't, huh? I suppose we can go back to Mo. We'll just fast travel it. How's everyone this morning? Yep, we are raising money. I 
Ah, the morning coffee. Got those baseball relics I asked for? Got them all right here. <laughs> I like your gumption. Let me take a look. <sighs> this baseball is the real deal. You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Look at that card. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything on the list. Uh, thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. It's nice to know baseball's gotten more violent than I remember it. <laughs> oh man! You're the greatest baseball collect I've met in a long time. Hey, thanks again for bringing me those relics. Now, you buying a swatter today? Uh, let's take a look. I'll take a look. Sure. Feel that heft. Hmm? Rockville Slugger. Wow. Cork wood. Ooh, look at that. Spiked oak swatter, right? I don't know if I can craft. Oh, that's an armor workshop. We got small arms, long arms, ammunition. Shop in safety. No sense allowed at the surplus. So I need glass screws, steel, and adhesive. Okay. I'm also going to switch out arms here because, um... Plus three to stats when you're at less than 25% health. Excellent. Well, okay. Let's go to the dock. Get our rads removed, I guess. Hey, Doc. This better be an emergency. Patch me up, Doc. Now, go over your symptoms for me. One at a time. Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. Blood pooling in the gums. Signs of anemia. Yeah. We better clean you up. That's that. Anything else bothering you? That was it. Off you go then.
get our leveling up done, shall we, since we're here? Next one, we're gonna get gun nut two. Let's go. We buy and sell everything to now everyone, swatter. except sense. That's a no real sense weapon. allowed here. Talk to Mo Cronin. He'll fix you. Protection for sale. Hand tooled pieces. I can't believe you actually found that baseball stuff for Mo Cronin. That must have been a pain in the ass. Read all about it. An outsider's perspective on Diamond City. Are we still the Green Jewel? Oh, are we still the Green Jewel? Let's find out. Okay, let's go get him. <clears throat> At least go visit the combat zone. Where we will probably get killed multiple times. Oh, goody. <clears throat> Rad storm, because you know, I just got cured of this shit. Thank you. 
way east here, I think. Shit, I think we stumbled on that. There's a There's a retirement house over here. Crap. All right. Well, here we go. I don't think the streets are really safer, but... Oh, frack me, Trinity Tower? Yeah, no, uh, not right now, I don't think so. have the ammunition to play with Trinity Tower right now. That being Trinity Tower. And up at the top. Oh crap. Keep tapping the wrong shit here.
weights down. Gotta help my buddy. He's back up. Okay, good. He's up to put in my way. Playing games with me, huh? Come on, get over the fence. Not run off. This is bullshit. Somebody shooting something somewhere. Okay to come back to that in a little bit. It's still out there. Just keep your eyes open. Dog meat, get out of the damn way! Oh, you get your dog. Okay, alright, what we need is some stim packs. We need is a damn jet. Weapons. Uh, righteous authority time. Light him up. Where you at, buddy? Shot. Hey Jess, what's up? Office Twitch would totally freeze for me. <laughs> I'm doing well. How about yourself? Oh crud. <laughs> Stim packs, pistols, and all sorts of stuff I don't need, okay. 
it. Doing good, excellent. Well, hope you're getting those problems fixed up and you'll get back uh, to broadcasting soon. We miss you out here. Alright, I think... We can check out this... Oh, yeah, I'm sure there's stuff in here. Sniper rope. Pipe bolt action sniper rifle. Yeah, I know you found something. Much better than you were. Excellent. Outstanding. buttressed raider piece. Well, that's okay, we can fix some of that. Oh! Outstanding! Well, I look forward to seeing you out there. I have to stop type tapping my thumb on my little mouse pad. That's what's costing me to fire all the time. One of these days you'll think I remember to turn that sucker off, but probably won't be anytime soon. I'm not the smartest boy in the box. Okay, I think we can get down from here now and probably start. going when all of this lovely group of uh, fine uh, outstanding um, individuals came upon us box and jet buff out well that's okay we'll take that You always forget to change your settings. Yeah, I know. I'm just, uh... Okay. Guess there's... Really nothing down here. That's way too far to jump. And I fell. Because I'm an idiot. Well, think of it as a chance to lighten the load by getting rid of some of these heavy things. Like all that grilled rad roach. Yum, yum, yum. East, east is of that away. I think the plan was originally they had to come through here and work our way back around. Staying clear of Swan's Pond because we're not entirely stupid. No way, shape, or form ready to tackle that particular beast.
good shot. as stupid as she looks, you know. Yes, that answers the question when I shoot somebody in the back. You betcha. In a heartbeat. I'm gonna have the, uh, have the, for some reason, the one day I can sleep in. Well, dear, I. Okay, we have different ideas of, of what getting up early is. I think for me, getting up early involves sometime about getting up uh, or getting up late involves um, sleep until five in the morning, you know. I was up uh, about my normal time, about 3.30. Let's, um... Different work schedules, though, you know. These things happen. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's get ready for a fight. Am I gonna take it? You betcha. I'm laying odds that we've got an ING, so probably the denying or stain. I'm in. What? You here to make friends? <laughs> By all means, head inside. Combat zone. And that concludes this round. Kate is the undisputed winner. And who's this? Wait, who let you? Lady, I'd find some cover quick. Looks like I someone got lost! I think someone's out there. <laughs> <laughs>
had um, family move some stuff all right Jess hey you have a great day you feel free to lurk stop and say hello whenever you need I'll be uh, I'll be around today a little bit just playing everybody Jess is one of the great streamers out there and a fellow extra lifer you think they got out there we don't want any trouble more at least. Oh, just peek your head. Too pretty to go out like this. So you want to talk this out like civilized folk? Or are you just going to bash on my theater some more? Is it over? Yeah, well, could have been worse. Could've worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? Why am I asking? Of course you are. Still won the fight, didn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy, is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my little bird here feed you your own entrails. I told you to quit calling me that. What is this place? Not from around here, huh? This is the combat zone. Finest arena in the Commonwealth. Kate, here's the headline. A hundred plus matches undefeated. We used to serve a more legit clientele. But about two years ago, a gang of raiders rolled in and we became a more exclusive establishment. Up until you took our entire client base out of the gene pool and put us out of business, that is. Happens, I guess. I'm sorry. It just seemed like you guys might be in trouble. Trouble? Nah. But keeping those idiots entertained was what kept the lights on. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do now. To hell with them. More will come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. A breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm? now? No. You know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. 
And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So, here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me and her. Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Look, truth is, all that junk, it's been making you careless. And I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. All right? So just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. I'd like to know what Kate thinks. Don't I get a say in all this? That ain't how a contract works. Besides, you really want to stay here? No audience, no caps, no one to talk to, but yours truly. Jesus. Point taken. Atta girl. So, she's on board. Now what about you? Sure. I could use someone watching my back. It's good. Uh, dog meets... It's settled then. Just dog meat? Here, take this. It's the purse from the last fight. Exterminator's feet. Now just wait a second. What exactly are you gonna do without me here? You don't need to worry about me. I'll get this place set up right. Maybe find a less blood-soaked clientele. Then get the hell out of here. You ain't welcome anymore, little bird. You're a real son of a bitch. You know that, Tommy? You don't have to tell me. I guess you just come find me then when you want to head out. How's it going, Tommy? Can't say I miss the crowds. But I sure miss that gaps. Alright, well let's go clean up the raiders of their, uh... Valuables, shall we say? And, uh, then we'll uh, pick up our young lady here. And... Fences. I could build potted plants. Isn't that sweet? I've always wanted to have a potted planter tin. Some more dickdoll. You're gonna drag that junk around. Yep, I am. Hey. Yeah, buddy, I know. Five fusion cells, you know it, baby. Knuckles, we got a chem station back in here. I got a lot of good stuff over here. Might be uh, after the apocalypse, but we can still smoke, people. Alrighty. He's been around for a while. I don't need a plastic pumpkin, but the Medex I will definitely take. on the streets. Hey, Kate. So, you're 
ready to head out? That depends. How are you feeling? I don't know. Feeling kind of useless sitting here with me thumb up me arse. So, are you ready to get this show on the road? Ready. About time I got out of this place. Let's go. Don't look at me that way, you dirty little mole rat. We'll send him to Sanctuary Hills. And we'll be back later for him. Okay, everybody, um, I'm going to take this moment to take a real quick break and grab another cup of coffee. I will be back in about two minutes. Uh, please stick tight. We're here playing Cherry 2287, and we will be right back with more from the 100 days of game. And uh, we're within about 15 bucks of giving away a game, so don't run away. And uh, if you're in, uh, if you're in chat when we get our next donation and, and it's over the limit, you will get that shot. You may be giving away something too once we hit the 200 follower number. I'll be right back. Don't go away. Eric's disability is very visual. It's, it's, you know, with, with the prosthetic legs. And when he gets into a sled, it's even more visual because he takes his legs off and then um, get, hops in his sled. The sled hockey helps Eric in um, a couple ways. This is a competitive sport, and you you know you keep score, you win, you lose. It's it's true hockey. Our family was on vacation in the summer of 2000. We'd been away for the whole week, up at the lake, swimming and playing. And one time when I was changing his diaper, found two little tiny purple dots on his bottom, which really raised my alarm. Um, within, within minutes after that, he had a little tiny pinprick rash all over his chest. The nurse who was there to intake us instantly recognized this rash, and they sent someone right away to call the medevac helicopter. Eric's condition was changing right in front of our eyes as we were traveling, and so we, we understood the importance of getting him back here to Rainbow Babies and Children's as quickly as possible. His blood pressure was low, his heart wasn't working well, uh, his capillaries or his blood vessels were leaking, so he became very edematous. He had lesions all over him. He had lesions on his face, his hands, his legs. Four hours later, this terrible rash, no blood pressure, and your organs literally completely shutting down. We were able to stabilize him in terms of maintaining heart rate, keeping blood flow, but we could not stop the progression of the um, blood clotting. The next week or so is just a blur of him being in the intensive care and being sedated and being on a respirator and them telling us all these medical terms of everything that was, that was wrong and all the fears that there were and the low blood pressure and not knowing hour to hour or day to day if he would even survive. The hardest part. was the amputation. And the surgeon came back and sat down next to me and held my hand and said, then we're going to have to amputate both of Eric's legs. And I actually, you know, had to sign the form for them to take his legs. The good thing is, is that's what made him better. That once they amputated, then everything turned around. And the next day, when Eric woke up, to see our little boy back, to see him smile and laugh and play, there was never any looking back from that point on. Eric taking his first steps in his prosthetic legs are probably, that's the reason we work here. He went upstairs when he got, he called him his bendy knees, you know, and he could go up a step and bend. And, you know, his mom had called me and said, you know, he went up a stair. You know, when I see Eric now, I, I think he's a, a miracle. He really surpassed any expectations from when he first came into the hospital. Uh, and for him to come back and, and to be the, the vibrant kid who can actually 
play golf a lot better than I can uh, is really a true miracle. And I think I think his his determination and strength is why he's here. Eric doesn't let anything slow him down. He wants to do everything that he can and even the things that he can't. <laughs> I don't give up because it will never make it better. People ask me, well, how can you go back to that hospital where all those terrible things happen to you? And they don't understand what a wonderful relationship that we established with all those caregivers at Rainbow Babies and Children's. And those people really legitimately cared about our son and about us. You never know when you're gonna need a specialty hospital. And, and you just think you're never gonna need it. They make a real difference in lives of children and families every day. You know, we can't thank the Children's Miracle Network enough for their support of Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital and all the children's hospitals across America. Children's Miracle Network provide funds to hospitals that regular hospitals would never have access to. What's more important than the care of children? What's more important than the care of children when they're at their sickest or at their lowest point? Children's Hospital are a safety net for so many families across this country that the Children's Miracle Network is a part of the support that quite frankly we need day in and day out to take care of these important kids and their wonderful families. I like to help the hospital because they, they saved my life and I want to help to save others. How far would you go to protect your child's health? If you're like most parents, that's a distance that can't be measured simply in miles. It's doing whatever it takes, no matter where that takes you. We know how far you'd go. We've been there. In fact, we go there every day so that you don't have to. A fully dedicated pediatric ER and the region's first and only on-site helicopter dedicated to kids, wherever they are. Children's Hospital New Orleans. Caring for every child is our own. And now, the worst streamer on the internet, Battery H. Thank you, Johnny Announcer. We're back for more. The second half of Cherry 2287 on day 17 of the 100 Days of Gaming, where we continue to work on raising money for Extra Life. That's right, that organization that raises money for the 170 hospitals of the Children's Miracle Network. Every dollar that you donate goes to directly to helping a child. Nothing goes to overhead. Nothing goes to administrators' pockets. Nothing goes to parties or even a staff pizza. It all goes towards helping the kids. And thank you to everyone who's donated so far. We're at $585, reaching out towards our goal of $1,337 this year. Come on. Let me get, let me get us over to the big one here. I know it says uh, eight five eighty. I mean, it's short five bucks, and I don't understand why. Um, but we'll figure it out here eventually. I may have to do some some finagling and that kind of stuff just to uh, make things work. But we'll do that a little bit later. Okay, Nick Valentine stuff is over this way, and I don't know where that sensor at Rayburn Point is supposed to be, but I don't believe it's up there either. It's up past Swan's Pond, so I think that we're going to head up that way. Yeah, that's definitely Swan's Pond, so we want to kind of give that as big of a berth as we possibly we're can. We're taking a big chance walking through the common. Just saying. Yeah, I, I know. Oh, shit, look at that. And a super mutant there. Bot. Let's hope Swan's over on the other side of his place today. Detected by what? Detected by the tour bot? At Journey's End. 
follow Freedom's Lantern. Okay, well we're gonna work on that maybe a little bit later. Uh, in the meantime, let's get a real weapon in here. Please tell me that was you whistling, Kate. Alrighty, let's go in and see if we can't find that Mr. Valentine that I've heard so much about. Him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. is low, is it not? Yes, it is. Stim pack time. Got a terminal, that's what we found. to the bourbon, you know that. And the Gwinnett Stout and the beer caps will be helpful because that'll let us get some glass. Okay, let's come across what was on these other boobs. Oh, she's just sitting down. Okay.
Gotta love those enamel buckets, gas can. Take the gas can. Alrighty, let's start finding and see if we can find our main man here. Reload the gun. get a slightly different weapon I think um... Millimeter not be might not be good for a whole lot, but good enough for that, I guess. Yeah, I know. Hey, what you need? stuff out of there. Corn. Alright. terminal uh, okay we're not gonna get anything out of there
time to go long range. Sniper rifle. Fix him. Let me know if you find some spare ammo. Hey, what is it? Ah, and here I thought you wanted to snuggle. Well, we can do that too, but. to provide ammo now to our uh, to our companions I'll be damned Bob Tech tuck these little beauties everywhere what's up need something hey there what's up your thoughts? Rather be off murdering a pint, but this'll do. What are your thoughts on our relationship? I don't know if you care about me, or if you just want to use me to soak up the bullets for you. I guess only time will tell. both, have... maybe? I don't know. That's all for now. Sure.
Okay, off we go through the vault some more. Work our way down and through, I guess, eh? Well, I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault on the subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. potato salad without it, right? Beta up, always get your food on. Um, different weapon I think for comfort. 
there. <laughs> Tactical armor piercing machine submachine gun gets precedence. in there, Valentine. Feeling hungry? What is the egg? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy, cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck Let the name across three times. Block. Or any locks for that matter. In Wanted. Oh. It's a talent I've acquired I, over I, the years. I gotta smooth this over fast. Up. Point out what you need and I'll get right on. That's interesting.
There we go. Yeah, we're just gonna override the dang motor controls because. the irony of the reverse damsel in distress scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? I need you to find someone, but it's... it's complicated. I don't exactly know where they could be or how long they've been gone. Well, I've done jobs with less. Somehow nice and simple never makes it onto the menu in my world cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. All right, let's do this. The Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this one. They don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Empty vault. Perfect hideout. Hold up. I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? Nick. You help me get out of here, and then I'll help you. Is he? What was that? Who's there? Time to have some fun. up our automatic weapon skills got there we are hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side
Get him alone, and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Footsteps were, eh? Nikki, what are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to death. Shut up. Should have left that alone, Nicky. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dollar, I'm handling this. Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where, where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this I time. Kate might not have liked it, but... This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men. Now you and your friend cost me my girl. My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. We better get out of here fast. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Come on, Kate. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about a missing person. No trace of where they've gone. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. 
I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Well, that was interesting. Look alive. Yeah? What's in your mind? How do you feel about our relationship? I'm still trying to figure out what you want from me. Maybe one day I'll find out. Ah, lovely. That grounds in the coffee and the final blows. Didn't have anything else. Fine by me. All right, Kate, let's go back to um, my good friend place here. And we're going to go um, put some stuff away, I think. Fast travel over there, get the stuff from her, get the stuff from dog meat. Build a scope. Ah, much better. So we don't have enough food, we don't have enough beds. We have plenty of defense, no power. Okay. All of that's pretty much fixable. I think we're going to put one in my house. Glad to take. I, I mean, <laughs> hold some stuff for you. Hold some stuff for me here. Much appreciated, young lady. See, she's out of out of out of ammunition already. See, this is going to be a pose problem, I think. Um.
Why bother? That's just garbage. I toss it. This better be worth it. What's yours is mine. Right, darling? to ask you, kid. I know it's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nicer fit for these old bones. Can you do that for me? Me? Yeah, for you, Mama Murphy? Yeah, probably. Can't you just use any chair? The sight's been real exhausting lately. Got aches and pains. Even when I'm lying down. I know it's odd asking for a fitted chair in this day and age, but it really helped me out, kid. Sure. Be glad to help. Thank you. Does nasty things to my range, though, doesn't it? Mm -hmm.
that's what I'm looking for is my doggy house. You're gonna drag that junk around. Nope. We'd move faster if you kept your eyes on the road and off me arse. <laughs> that line came from um, I think we're gonna get ready to call it here for a day um, in a couple of weeks we're going to and yeah, they don't have any defense at Ten Pines Bluff there's a shock um, probably gonna have to stock up on enough stuff to make it for them uh, get them some wood or something power and all that good stuff um, but I think we're gonna save it here and we will be back with this in two weeks uh, later today good Lord willing I will be back at about one o'clock central time um, it's our under construction period and uh, I don't know I may be playing some prison architect is what I'm thinking so I hope to see you all then. If not, I will definitely be back Sunday morning at 8.30 a.m. Central Time with uh, Sunday Morning Drive. We're going to continue the Extra Life Trucking Campaign, see if we can uh, find a few more things. Until then, from Cherry and I, I wish you all a very wonderful weekend and have a great day. And if you're like me in Louisiana, try and stay dry. I know it's difficult. Thanks, everybody. If you've enjoyed the stream, despite the awful host, please consider a donation to Extra Life. Thank you for watching.